Well, just got some bad news. Uh, just got off the phone with the guy over at the camera repair shop and he said that the issue that it has, it's unrepairable and that it would have to go back to Canon. That sucks. That really sucks. I was really hoping that it would be something to have fixed. So I'll have to go pick it up and I guess, I don't know, send it to Canon and have them take a look at it. But when I did the estimate online, they said it would be about four or $500. That sucks. It really sucks. I'm kind of disappointed. But it is what it is and the show must go on, right? All right, my love, I'm gonna head over to the pantry. Go pick up some stuff. Okay. Love you. Love you. Love you guys. I'll see you later. Hey, hun, I don't want them on this stuff all day, especially with their room being a disaster as it is. Okay? Put them to work. Put them to work. Bye, baby. Love you. <laughs>As you can see, I also need gas. So we're gonna go stop at the bank first and then hit up the pantry. But right now, I'm gonna do a Facebook Live. And just say hi and catch up with some people I haven't talked to in a while. Hey, God bless you in the name of Jesus. This is your brother Brian with the Gospel of Transformation Ministries, helping you bring God's will here on earth, just as it is in heaven by stewarding the heart of God, the mind of Christ, and the power of the Holy Spirit. Goodness, it's windy out today. I didn't want to just leave my camera up there because I was concerned that it was gonna fall over because of the wind. How you doing, man? Hey, really quick, I just want to tell you that Jesus loves you and thinks you're amazing. Oh, man. Yeah, absolutely. Do you, are you in pain at all? I was just in the gas station. They saw my camera. They said they got a little freaked out. I said, I'm a YouTuber and I go out and I, you know, bless people. The guy that was taking my money, he said, well, if everybody needs something. And I said, they sure do. And then I said, God loves you. And uh, he said, I'm sure he doesn't. And I said, I'm sure he does. And he says, well, I worship the morning star or something to that effect. And I said, well, I know that he has a great plan for your life. And there was a line behind me um, getting larger and larger. I wasn't going to press the issue. It wasn't the right time. I'm I wasn't going to be forceful or anything like that. That was just an interesting conversation. It's funny that that's one of the first encounters that I've had today. We're going to go to the pantry right now, pick up some groceries there. I do. What's the name of it? It's called Gospel of Transformation Ministries. I go out and I pray for people and see God do amazing things. Do you need prayer for anything? Oh, no, thanks. And no, no pain, no discomfort, nothing going on, no breakthrough in finances or relationships? Yep. All right. Went in there, the woman saw I had my camera. She thought it was for photography. I told her, no, I'm a YouTuber. And that I go out and I bless people. I ended up telling her my testimony a little bit and then asked if she had any pain. And she said she had arthritis in her wrists. And so I said, well, let me pray for you because God's going to heal you instead of asking if i can hold her hand what i did was there's a she was in a little cubicle so what i had her do is put one hand on the cubicle and i put my hand above her hand not touching her hand on the same cubicle and commanded it to be healed and commanded the arthritis to go what i've learned and discovered in this relationship and walk with god is that i don't need to touch the person in order for them to be healed and so that's exactly what happened. I prayed twice. First time the pain subsided um, a little bit, but it didn't go all the way. Second time I prayed and it went all the way away. And I told her, well, you know that when it doesn't come back, you know why, and it's because Jesus loves you. And so then I went on and uh, got the rest of my stuff. together with a, a, a brother in Christ of mine. He's going to be helping me walk through, helping to set up a website, which I think will be really good for me because then I have a, a place that people can come to that is 
my own. So we're gonna be doing that right now. Just got done with my brother in Christ helping me go through some design ideas for creating a website. I've got a lot to go through and figure out. It would be really nice if I had someone who can do it for me, but I'll have to figure it out with me and Holy Spirit, right? <laughs> so this is what we're gonna call it. So if you need any prayer or would like an encouraging word, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. On my next vlog, after I start getting some of the comments coming in, I will go ahead and share with you God's heart. So I sure do love you guys. I will talk to you guys soon. In the meantime, go and be everything that God says you are because that's the way he knows you. God bless you. Bye.